Hi, this is Vishal. Hi, this is Shekhar. You're watching BollywoodHangama.com. Jadeep Sani, you're a lyricist yourself. I'm not a lyricist, yeah. No, I think you've written some lyrics. I've given a lyric in my hand, 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 I've given a lyric in my hand. Jadeep Sani, he doesn't write too often for as, as far as movies are concerned, uh, lyrics especially. Yeah. Um, very refreshing lyrics. Yeah. Unusual sort of. Jay uh, Boomin, Se Bikre Hain Tare. Yeah. The entire thing I say is very refreshing. Kali Waas Me. So Jadeep, the, like you said, he doesn't write very often. And even for this one, we had to really sort of, uh, you know, he was. Uh, so Shekhar, uh, Jadeep, and I heard the narration together. Adi gave us the narration together. And, uh, you know, uh, when we. Basically, we we pretty much asked for Jaydeep on the film. We've worked with him on Salam Namaste before, which Jai, was Jai 12 years ago. I mean, time flies. Um, but great guy to work with and always brings a new perspective. Like always, I mean, he makes the effort to kind of, uh, to bring, uh, you know, something fresh, like you said, every single time. So, uh, we were very happy to be on that with him. Okay, and what was the reaction when you saw the music video? Which one? Labong Karabar. I love it. I think right. it's fabulous. I think for whatever it's worth, uh, so there's a there's a certain prudery to our society, mm -hmm. which I believe is a thoda lamba explanation. I don't mind. No, and, no, no, no problem at all. Please. I I believe that that's a socio political sort of remnant of the Raj, of the Victorian sensibility of the Raj. Yes. India itself was a very very liberal country. We are the country that invented the Kama Sutra. We are the country that that uh, doesn't. Culturally, we don't have these taboos and this this sort of uh, you know uh, sort of what like touch me not mentality. You know what I'm saying? India Indian culture is very rich and very rich in everything from art to music to science to to sex. Everything Kams, is Kams Sutra. everything. I mean, it's not just about the Kama Sutra. It's about freedom. Mm. You know what I'm saying? By nature, India is a, is a is a is a country that believes in freedom of expression of individuality of everything. You know, uh, that apart, I mean, I just think the video is beautiful. I think it expresses love in so many different ways. And that's what the song is about as well. So I think I, I couldn't have, and, and, and it explores Paris and the, the idea of, of all love being equal and all love being, you know, wonderful at the same time. So it's beautiful for me. Yeah, absolutely. What, what about you? What is I feel the same actually. Um, <clears throat> actually, but when I saw it, I just I, I loved it. I loved the way it was kind of. Uh, I wasn't expecting, um, uh, you know, something uh, uh, very different from this because we would read the script, so we knew exactly how the screenplay goes from the beginning and where the song will fit in and what exactly will happen in the um, on the opening of the film. So I, I think it was, it was very beautifully done and an uh, expression of love and equality and you know, all these things together just makes it so, it's, it's, it's rich, it's sweet, it's, it's, um, it's the reaction which people give after seeing this video, I, I don't think it deserved that kind of a reaction. And, like and what I, the positivity which I, saw behind it, I think there was a lot of positivity behind it. A lot of people actually have told me that this is a beautiful expression. It's the expression of love when you kiss mm -hmm. someone. It's just a beautiful thing. And uh, you know how mm -hmm. it is. Absolutely. But at the same time, if it just makes it so beautiful and so rich and so fantastic and it's not something which people don't do. You know, no, it's and, uh, aesthetically, I think, beautifully shot. Aesthetically shot as well. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It was really done. Okay. And well. Will it be there? It's like a promotional song. Will it be there in the movie? You'll find out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, it being basically, you know, there are there are very limited things that we can really talk about. Uh -huh. So you'll find out. I mean, as and when. As and when you know things will reveal themselves. Right. Okay, then you have Nashe Si Chadge, which is which, which is another, I think, beautiful song that that. We had I, twenty I million most... yesterday, by the way. Anji? Twenty million views. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so uh, no, it's, it's 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 a beautiful song, and people are loving it like anything, and uh, it has a wonderful, I think, mixture of beat, like a dance feel to it at the same time. It has a romantic feel to it, like a bit of laid back feel to it. So uh, something about uh, uh, Nashi if you can possibly talk about there are the beautiful the thing, French portions that the, the Carolisa Montero, I think, has sung, I believe. And written beautiful. Carolisa sung and written, and written those. Yeah. Acha, she has she has written that as well. Okay. So so I'll tell you one thing. Uh, when you're talking about working on this film. We actually haven't worked on this. It's so true. It's, <laughs> it's so true. Uh, it's a very bizarre thing. I don't know how to explain it to you because since you are in the business and you know exactly, you've been interviewing interviewing so many 
uh, musicians and music directors and lyricists and actors, actresses, directors. What happened here is, here first we were told, we were asked. Okay, Adi called us to his room and said, I'm making a small film, aplok, will you guys do the music for it? This was actually the tone this of it. This was the tone of it. And we were like, and we were like uh, are you, means it's a dream for any actor, actress, any part of, a, of the technical crew to be a part of a Adi Chopra film. Absolutely. And when that question was asked, people were like, means, uh, Yes, uh, please, right please, now. Please, please, now, please, can we start, <laughs> like, right now? It was like that. So, um, and, and then when we started the whole process, now Adi comes in as a creative producer on all the Yashraj films, which we worked on. The director, director approves the tune and then Adi hears it. Adi has his inputs, director has his inputs, and we all kind of collaborate and put the whole thing together. Here, there's only one man straight away. The creative producer and the director Aditya Chopra in front of you. Correct, that's right. Now, with him from the beginning, I'm looking for script. Unhone sunai. We heard the script immediately. The next day, we started the process. We start. We sat down in the studio, and Adi said, "Ek kam karte. Abhi aapko script pata hai na? Which songs come where we don't know? We'll figure it out later. Just Aso, write. Just write songs. Just find the vibe of. Just the find film. the vibe and just write songs. And write. That's, and that's so all we, we just did. kept on writing, kept on writing, and Adi basically kept on selecting. I think he came in after a week. We had one week to ourselves. Shekhar and I would meet every day, hang out, have coffee, talk nonsense, and, uh, and just compose. Mm. And when, mm. I, when I say no pressure, I mean capital N and capital O. Okay. No pressure at all. Banana Aram Singh. Enjoy the process. And there's then a, in between? There's a, there's a smile on the face. There's perpetual smile from Adi when he walks in. Achha, kuch hua? Nahi hua. Koi baat nahi. Kal karte. Aram se. So there is a comfort level which is unreal. Means this is something where we thought we were on a holiday. After our tunes got approved, Vishal and I looked at each other. I said, "Hum log ne kuch kam kiya ki nahi kiya album pe." Means aisa lag raha hai ki kuch kam hi nahi hua isme. And then the whole process continued. We finished one week of the session, ten days of the session, and then Adi said, "Now you guys take a break. Go for a holiday. Go for a holiday. Out, do something." Hang out. <laughs> you were like, "No more. What are you doing? Holiday to go." This holiday is what is it? Extension of the holiday. Chalo. So after one, one, two weeks, we took that holiday off. And again, back to the studio. Now, the second round. So we started second round right Same thing, day. exactly, just, just in a room, composing. So by the end of it, we had like maybe 30, 40, 50 ideas, just, just like string, strings of ideas, yeah. mm. you know. And, uh, and then we started to kind of just bring them together. Adi said, we, the three of us would be in a room, we'd just bring them together and we'd be like, okay, this is the song. And it was, and we were like, and, and by the end of that second week, pretty much this, the, the composing was done. I think the total work, I won't say working again, but total time spent on this entire thing of writing, mm. writing music was not more than two weeks. Two weeks to three weeks of writing. Mm. That's it. He said, Abhi, aap log ko script pata hai. And it wasn't like write a mukhda, write an antra. Nee, parts. Ek ye log ho gaya, fir iske liye ye banao ya. No, it was a ch yeah. You know, just, just, just all the thoughts that have come from the script, organically became the music of the film. Absolutely.